Today, I would like to welcome Linda Paulding here to tell us about her brand new book. It's called Never Limit Yourself, but she really dives deep into both tennis and particularly pickleball, which is taken off in the last couple of yes. years here in the Valley, but you saw it coming. Yes, so I did. You, you were a little bit of a visionary about pickleball. Absolutely. Tell me about Absolutely. That. I was actually coaching a lot of celebrities in the Los Angeles area and uh, at one of our tennis certification programs. Uh, they talked, one of the gentlemen there talked, came and talked to us about pickleball. And so I was like, wow. And there may be a couple other guys. We were so excited about it. And then from there, it wasn't much. I couldn't find a place really to play pickleball. So um, I began to uh, search around, and that was in one indoor place. And from there, uh, as I began to come here, people said, wow, just um, come here, and we'll teach you how to play pickleball and then help you to get your license. So that's how I end up actually in the Palm Springs area. And you were working in tennis, coaching tennis, yes. playing tennis. You played on the tour. Absolutely. Um, talk about the advantages of pickleball and why you think it's become so popular. You know, that's a very good question, Patrick. Pickleball has become so popular because as a tennis coach, it is so much easier to learn. The learning curve is very, very easy. Of course, the scoring, how to score is probably the most difficult part about pickleball. Other than that, it's, you know, you're, the serve is not overhead, it's an underhand serve. So it's much easier on the body for, especially for mature people. Well, that's what I hear. I have some friends who are, uh, you know, my age or older, and they said they love tennis, yes. but they find pickleball is a little easier. Is. They're is. not as sore the next day after I they see play. It. Absolutely. So, and a the little court's, ball. Court's mm -hmm. a little smaller. It is. So actually, Patrick, you can take one tennis court and turn it into four pickleball courts. Okay, so, so one it's 44 by 20. Yes. Yeah. So pickleball is a combination of three sports. One is badminton because the size is a badminton size court. Right. And then tennis because of technique and how to play. And then uh, the other one's ping pong because of the paddle. The paddle. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very different paddle than, than your tennis racket. Absolutely. Uh, but it's a, a more approachable sport for a lot of people who uh, maybe have, you know, kind of older knees, <laughs> tough on the knees. Tennis is pretty tough on the knees and elbows. Pickleball's a little easier on the yes, body. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Well, you know, in terms of the, the court coverage, we're talking about 44 by 20. And so most of the people in Patrick, I must say, in pickleball play doubles. I would say perhaps 90-some percent of the persons play doubles. So you have this little small area that you're playing in. And so that is huge. All right, well, tell me a little bit more about your book, Never Limit Yourself. It's not just about tennis and pickleball. It's really talking about a mindset. Absolutely. You're absolutely right, Patrick. So what happened is that when I began to look at life and I began to see what the situation is, I love us both sports. I coach both sports and I play both sports. But now, of course, I'm a little mature now, so I play a little bit more in pickleball tournaments. But in life, period, I'm from Alabama originally, and it's about a community and working together. So even when they're, we are talking about pickleball and tennis, then we are talking about life itself, of working together for the common good of society. Well, if you are a pickleball player or a tennis player, but more importantly, if you're a sports lover, you want to pick up this book and never limit yourself. It's a, it's a great life coaching right here in this book, and you can find it virtually anywhere books are sold, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can order this book. Again, Linda Paulding, and it's Never Limit Yourself, first-time author with this book. So uh, support a local author and check it out. And get out on your pickleball court and get yourself healthy. It's a great sport to keep. Absolutely. Keep your cardio up. And, it is. And get you healthy. Absolutely. Linda, I'm excited about it. Thank well, you so much, Pat. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you.